Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's video. We're going to do the five day forecast today. Have a detailed look at weather for the next five days across the British Isles. It's going to be a period of change really from the very settled conditions that we've had for at least a couple of weeks, uh, mainly dry, fine, and warm. It's been, uh, but we're going to be seeing that breaking down over the next five days. It's turn a lot more unsettled with some heavy showers coming through uh, some of those could be uh, a little bit on the thundery side as well temperatures will be dropping a bit also so we're all in all not a great five day period uh, for five day forecast period coming up before you get on with that though just to say about the advertising this video ad time page is at gasworthers.com hit play on video ad you'll be sporting gasworthers.com thanks so much for doing that so this is the current radar picture from the weatheroutlook.com we see that we have got some rain across Ireland and just coming to the far southwest of Scotland most of this is light and patchy at the moment it's just heralding that change to uh, more unsettled conditions uh, that's on the way for the coming five days here's today's stock tip press chart high pressure still more or less hanging on to the north of Scotland and ridging down through the country but I say weather systems are coming into the west and southwest now uh, and it is gradually going to break down uh, the high pressure so I think we're going to see some rain across western parts of Scotland and Ireland through the course of today it'll get uh, more widespread across southwestern Scotland as well maybe some showers for northwestern parts of England also eastern parts of Scotland probably staying mainly dry as will northeast England and the rest of England and Wales probably staying pretty dry through uh, today as well temperatures a little bit cooler and fresher than they have been uh, we're going to be seeing maximums of around 21 or 22 somewhere into the low 70s Fahrenheit but certainly a few degrees down on what we've been used to Overnight, we've got this area of low pressure developing to the west of Ireland, but eventually it's going to be heralding the change to uh, the unsettled conditions. But I think really tonight the rain is uh, confined to uh, Ireland, maybe western parts of Scotland as well, although I think it'll die down actually overnight across western and southwestern Scotland. Most other places will stay uh, dry tonight. Uh, temperature could be a little bit on the cool side actually, could be a little bit chilly really for uh, the end of June, uh, with minimums down to 7 or 8 degrees. Not low enough for ground frost, of course, but uh, certainly a little bit cooler uh, than you would expect really for a late June night. As we go through into uh, Thursday, this low pressure is getting closer, it's starting to develop, the high pressure begin to recede away a little bit to uh, the northeast. We're probably looking at a band of quite heavy rain coming into Ireland through the course of Thursday, and it'll get more widespread down across southwestern parts of England as well uh, through the course of Thursday afternoon to Thursday evening. So that could well impact things at Glastonbury uh, on Thursday evening, probably pushing into South Wales as well. Rest of the country just about holds on to uh, dry and fine conditions for one more day uh, on Thursday so uh, temperatures will be up to around 21 or 22 again into below 70s Fahrenheit but this is sort of the last settled day uh, because by the time you get through to Friday the high the uh, low pressure is coming in firmly across uh, the country off the Atlantic so uh, we're going to find well a band of rain will push northwards overnight Thursday into Friday across much of Ireland England and Wales so that could be quite heavy but it'll be sporadic it'll be showery so uh, it'll break up as it moves north and east some places will probably miss that um, by the time we get through to Friday itself that band of rain will probably be fizzling out but then we're going to have big showers building up across Ireland England and Wales on uh, Friday afternoon some very heavy showers torrential downpours a possible risk of hail and thunder uh, big rainfall totals in a short space of time as well they'll be slow moving because the winds are light around this area of low pressure but best of web will be for scotland where we'll just about hold on to dry and fine conditions Temperatures will be a little bit down on Friday, probably seeing a maximum of around 20. 20 is 68 Fahrenheit. The low pressure is still there over the country, or over England and Wales anyway, as we go through into Saturday. So I think we're looking at more heavy showers and downpours really on Saturday. Again, particularly focused around Ireland, Wales and England. Uh, going to be some big showers building up uh, risk of hail and thunder could merge into longer spells of rain perhaps across southern counties as well so again that could be impactful uh, for Glastonbury could be thunderstorms mixed in also with hail and thunder and lightning distinctly possible 
The uh, driest, brightest uh, weather will be across Scotland again, close to this ridge of high pressure, just about holding on to the fine conditions up there. Although even there, some showers are possible through Friday and Saturday. Temperatures again around 19 or 20. As we go through into Sunday, the low pressure is clearing off. It's sort of been a slack flow uh, from the north. So I think we're probably looking at more showers on Sunday, but they may lose their intensity a little bit. Out of two days, Saturday and Sunday, Sunday will probably be uh, the best day of the weekend but not great there'll still be showers around and some of them could be still quite heavy but they'll probably be more in way of drier spells and shower perhaps not quite as intense winds are from the north so it's going to be cool again with maximum temperatures probably uh, just 19 or 20 degrees and then finally as we go through into uh, monday end of the five day forecast period the high pressure is trying to reach back in off the atlantic but the flow is still slack for england and wales it means that the scotland and northern Ireland. Uh, Scotland and most of Ireland actually probably stay mainly dry uh, with bright or sunny spells coming through for England and Wales so there'll be the risk of more showers, some of them heavy with a risk of hail and thunder temperatures may be lifting up a little bit by Monday, perhaps getting it back up to around 22 or 23, 23 is 73 Fahrenheit so it may get a little bit warmer time get through to Monday. Have a quick look at the charts from the weather out. We'll see the weather in your area uh, over the next five days. Here's the rain up in the north and the northwest. Uh, today elsewhere mainly dry uh, and bright with uh, sunny spells coming through and temperatures are lower than we've had for quite a few days. Let's go through into uh, Thursday. There's the band of rain across Ireland, Wales and southwestern parts of England moving slowly and erratically northwards and eastwards. That'll push up across England and Wales overnight Thursday into Friday, but breaking up as it does. So very heavy showers possible across much of Ireland, England and Wales as we go through into Friday. Some of them will be heavy with hail, thunder, slow moving as well, so big downpours possible. Driest weather will be for Scotland. Going through to uh, Saturday again, the driest weather is for Scotland elsewhere. Still risk of more heavy showers and downpours. Uh, moving through to Sunday, again, it's a case of showers, but I think perhaps uh, drier and brighter conditions at times between those showers on Sunday, although this does suggest more showers, actually, uh, for Scotland than is the case on Saturday. But overall, both Saturday and Sunday will be showery days, and those go through into Monday. Again, the showers are mainly across England and Wales, with the north and the west uh, turning a little bit drier, and temperatures will be lifting up perhaps a little bit as we go through into uh, Monday. So in summary, over the next five days, it's going to be turning more unsettled. The weather is breaking down, the fine weather that we've had for the past couple of weeks. Uh, starting off not too bad, but as we go through into Friday and on into weekend, showers really do break out, some of them heavy with risk of hail and thunder. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.